does it feel seeing the Sholey name back atop the renovated candy factory at Petco Park? Well, I guess that's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> Roger Sholey gives us the sweet history of the candy factory in then and now. You might not think of San Diego as being a candy capital, but as you can see in this old film, 10,000 pounds of candy a day were made at the downtown Sholey Brothers Candy Factory, built in 1924. And from then to now, this is the revived Candy Factory building. As a family, of course, we're delighted that it was completed and restored, and the building is back better than ever was. Roger Sholey, a San Diego Union Tribune reporter, is the factory founder's grandson. The three-story Sholey Candy Factory is ready again for commercial use after a five-year facelift. The Petco Park location at the Park at the Park is a prime business site. But remember in 2003, the two-day journey to its present site? As seen in this time lapse, the historic brick building was lifted and moved on huge dollies one block east to make way for the park at the park. Somehow made the Guinness Book of Records as the biggest building of its kind to be moved. The move cost the Padres two and a half million dollars, a remarkable engineering accomplishment. I can't even comprehend what my grandfather would say if, if he were here. His grandfather, Guy Sholey, was one of the brothers who started the candy business here in 1905. Sholey Brothers Candy was everywhere, at parades, at the Balboa Park Exposition. Their signature candy bar was the five cent cluster rough, chocolate, nuts, and caramel. The family was so proud of the business, it was captured on film then, so we can see it now. My grandfather commissioned a black and white movie of candy making in San Diego. And it takes you through the various steps of how to make candy, how, how the ingredients are put together. The Sholey family employed up to 100 workers, all part of one big family. They would have parties after hours. There'd be, there was a picture of a party, a dance party in this space right in this area. Here on the third floor was where the candy was made. We revisit the same area where all that candy making took place. In a corner where one worker temporarily rested, that corner now overlooks the ballpark. At the garage doors outside, candy was loaded for delivery. Those garage doors are now along the park at the park. History preserved. The building, the physical building, helps people remember that there's a past and there's a future. It hasn't been hard keeping track of the candy factory restoration. In 2007, our station, Channel 4 San Diego, moved into Diamond View Tower right next door. We've watched every step of the renovation. The refurbishing and seismic retrofitting cost $13 million. JMI Sports will lease the ground floor to a restaurant or sporting goods company. Business offices will fill the second and third floors. It really reflects the past. It's a great historic building that is really part of the environment. Um, so it's great to see it now get to the point where we can start actually placing people in the building and using it. The Sholey family had sold the building in 1950, but as part of the ballpark redevelopment, the Sholey name is back. What I think is the coolest thing is the little, little bear logo. Look closely the next time you go by. Their logo is the California grizzly bear holding a piece of candy. Sholey has his own nostalgic hope for a building tenant hope that some candy company out there opens a little shop on the ground floor and sells their version of candy and they say we all owe it all to this old building from 1924. A full circle, two centuries coming together, a perfect match of then and now. I'm Jack Gates, Channel 4 San Diego. The end.